Hey guys, it's Wood up here, and welcome back to World of Battle Lost Dirt Racing Crew Mode for Part 39. We're starting the UMP Modified section, so this is technically a new arc. Um, the previous one was almost as long as the Street Stock one, so that makes me feel a little uncomfortable. This one shouldn't take nearly as long. Um, I mean, already, before we even jumped into any first race, we had so much money banked up that we had enough to max out everything to level 3. So uh, we're good on that, so now it's just more or less just doing these races and trying to bank up as much money until we get to the to the regional stuff. So before we do that, I don't know how many seasons I'll do with this, because I don't know how much money we'll even need or, or what exactly, but I don't know, maybe three seasons, but we'll try to get through them pretty quick, because I think we're going to be pretty good like usual. I'm not positive though, so I don't know, we'll just get right into it so I don't prolong this anymore. Well, before we actually get into it, always a big shout out to my YouTube Patreon people, as well as my YouTube members for support my channel. Again, it's always appreciated that you help and support me every single month like this does me a lot. It truly goes a long ways, and I'm always really thankful for it, so just thank you. Without further ado, let's uh, just see how quick we can get our first career win. We're just doing our qualifying laps, just trying to get used to the car. It doesn't feel majorly different from the uh, big block modified. Maybe it's slightly slower, I'm not sure, but either way, we're going to shatter our goal time of a 13.7. I don't know what we need to get a pull, but I mean, these lap times feel pretty good. I was able to get a 12 flat in practice, so that's my range. That was... okay. <laughs> okay, um, we'll do what we were doing in the other series, where we'll just uh, we'll skip the heat, get right into the qualifying dash, and go from there, because I guess uh, we're always going to be able to move on to the dash before anything else so yeah that's what we'll do and it's a dub i didn't pull away to a big margin they were still like about half a second behind me so interesting to note but we'll go into the dash and try to see if we can maintain our pole position start first and we just gotta get through this first corner and we should be all right they're usually in the dash, they're much tougher versus the heat, so I'm expecting a little bit of a challenge. I'm sure, uh, I mean, I, well, hold on, someone's, who's, yeah, we gotta get used to these names. Steffens, I don't know who that is, but maybe that's someone we gotta race for. They're just running into me. It's just, it's just not really nice. Oh, it, 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 who, I don't know who this is, but I guess they're on my bad side already. Didn't take much, but they, they want to make their presence known to me. We'll finish second in that, so uh, a little bit concerning for the main. Whoever that 24 car was uh, being a big old pain, and that's James Walker solo. I'll remember that. Now we'll see what this Mr. 8 car can do in the main, because in Dash, he was very uh, aggressive towards me and passed me. We did a little bit of contact there, going, but... That's just to let them know our presence is there, and, you know, I didn't forget about the dash, so. Oh, oh we cleared him. Okay. I, I would say we're even with him, and now we're going to try to pull away if I can. Though I am very sure lap traffic is ultimately going to probably be in our way and mess things up, because that's just what usually happens in this game. Two laps to go, still in the lead, and just dealing with lap traffic actually hasn't been too bad for us. But whoever's second, still got to get used to names. Kind of keeping me honest. I mean, I haven't pulled away to a massive lead. I mean, it is two seconds, but it's been very steady. Like, we're just barely faster than them. So, yeah. Just keeping me on my toes. But off the last corner in our first start, we'll get our first win. I like that. <laughs> this is what I uh, had to put myself through in the uh, UMP modified, just so... Or the big block modified, so I can be this in the UMP. So... It, it, it paid off. So we'll take a look at everything else. Obviously, point situation, we're going to be first because we won. And the earnings should be $10 in merch, 4000 in the race payout. So obviously not great. But once we start getting sponsors and fan bonus stuff, I think it will start to go up. I just don't know how long it will take. So that's why I wanted to do a second season because I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of money in this first season because we don't have a lot of that other stuff established. I don't know. So everything is in just barely good enough condition to be uh, to not repair anything, so that's fortunate. And with that, we're going to get any news articles for our first win and our first start. It looks like it with the loading screen, yep. Oh man, that feels amazing. I gotta do that again. 
That's he's, he's building up an ego. I don't like it. I don't like the sound of that. You gotta be humble. You gotta gotta have some of that humble pie there. He should know why he's so good. <laughs> he, because he <laughs> he leached in the other. <laughs> it's getting cocky. I don't, I don't like it. Through the last corner. I don't really know what lane is the best to use here. Fairbury always seems like the AI give us trouble. That's ninth. So yeah, they're always really good here. Either that, I just suck. But. Yeah, ninth is uh, not not ideal, but we should still be able to get in the qualifying dash, or, or at least I hope so. We'll get into the A main and the qualifying dash. I don't know why I was saying not the A main. I don't know what I'm thinking, but yeah. Start fitting the qualifying dash. Car was okay, but we'll see what we can do in the actual dash itself and see if we can improve our position. Starting fifth on the inside, so I think that's pretty good. Ooh, yeah, those starts. I mean, I don't know what it is. They just always angle you on the start where he can hit a car and I you know we all know how the contact is it just throws you around and makes you out of balance and it's just all chaotic but and that was not nearly as bad as I thought we almost made contact with the other guy but I think the outside line is the way to go still though I again still have a hard time just trying to you know, not hit the outside wall we did gain a spot there I noticed that was that was cool might be able to get third Okay, fifth is or fourth is still trying. Or whoever is behind is still trying. But, yeah, there we go, hitting the wall again. There goes our momentum. So uh, yeah, that's that's another problem we got to deal with. So yeah, I think the AI again at this track are, are still very competitive. And we're still we probably won't win, but probably a top three or top five possibly. As we're on the white flag, so we'll just set it here in the last corner and hope it sticks. Oh, I'll take fourth. That's not horrible. We could have maybe gotten third if I was able to be sneaky up on the high side, but that, that was pretty good. And once again, that eight is beside us. I don't know why this is becoming a trend. So that's interesting. Yeah, we'll see what we can do here in the first corner. We're just going to go where they're not. And that was actually a pretty decent corner. We might be able to clear them all if we just get off this corner well. Damn, we did. Holy shit. Okay, well, uh, I guess we have a car to compete. Way more than I was originally expecting. We got this uh, other guy up here, White Weiser, we Weiser. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, we're right there. I mean, I don't know if the outside line is going to be good enough to pass them or or what exactly, but we're right there. So maybe lap traffic can affect. Oh, that's a run. That was if he was going to go up high, we were going to cut down low, and I thought that could have been executed perfectly. But no, it's okay. You know, we're right there. Oh, he got loose there. I saw that. I felt it. I felt it through his car. And, no, well, that's not really a slide job, but we did get his line. We cleared him. He might cross me over, though, so I'm going to park the bus on the bottom. I hit the fucking tire. That's a lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, now we're racing battered and bruised. My flag's out. I feel pretty good about this one. We actually had to kind of work for it. We didn't get the lead very easily, so it was nice. So through the last corner at a track I didn't expect to win at, we'll win Fairbury. So now we're two for two. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm about as confused as probably the comic section. Comic? Comic? What the fuck was I trying to say? Comment section. It was. Because I, di I didn't expect this. So, um, yeah, that's really good. Um, I think it's still going to be like $10 a merch or whatever gold we think we had. Okay, never mind. $49 a merch. Decent payout. We'll probably definitely have to repair stuff because that tire really hurt our car. Rough driving, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we need things to repair. And that's 16000 total we have in the bank, and that's probably going to be like 7000 we have to repair and everything. So, uh, yeah, it might be a little bit hard to, to bank up money, at least early on, which is not having enough, not really any sponsors. Only 2000 Huh. I was thinking it was going to be a lot worse, but apparently not. And next we're going to, oh, God, it's Elm Creek. We have to deal with this much earlier than I thought. Oh. Well, our win streak will end today at Elm Creek. Through the last corner. I don't know what that's going to be like or how good it is. Ten? Okay, I'll take fourth. A little bit better than I was expecting. Yeah, I still don't like this track. For whatever reason, in this car, it's not bugging me as much. Maybe because we aren't going as fast? I don't know. It's weird. But that didn't feel as painful as it did in the past. You know, we just ran away with that. I'm amazed. Is, is it even possible to go three for three at a track like this? That just doesn't make any sense to me. 
we're starting on the outside at a track like this, which might not actually be that bad because you see how they, they start you with well, the inside light almost always hits the outside. I don't know. It might not. Happens to me though. That was a terrible. That's nose damage. So, at least we got the inside line. I might be able to get third. Nope, never mind. And we'll finish fourth where we start in. So I, I don't know what to really make of that. I mean, second and third were still pretty close to me. So I don't know. Maybe we can do something in the main. I don't know. I uh, who knows. We just gotta get the inside here right away. That's <laughs> well. I mean, I did turn right away, so that kind of helps. Though we our car just stopped. We just parked the bus in the first corner. Well, I mean, it helped us got uh, like maintain fourth, so that was that was a big help. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to do a whole lot more beyond this. But I don't know. Maybe lap traffic could do something. I mean, that one other guy's running the high lane here, which I don't think would work. But he's somehow making it work. So uh, again, I don't really understand the physics behind any of this and also I went off the track so I'm doing a little bit of lawn work but all right we're back and forth that was epic um lap traffic traffic <laughs> lap traffic once actually held me that put us up to third. And don't I don't even have a clue where second is, but I didn't really think I was gonna get a more like an extra position beyond that, so that was kind of a surprise. That that might be position right there. I don't know. That's contact. That's Yeah, I I still don't like racing here. And yeah, that, that doesn't help either. Uh run the high lane doesn't help either, and we're gonna lose third and lap traffic just in the way. Why is my car turning to left on the straightaway? How does that make sense? And I just spun myself. Well that's really embarrassing. Thanks, game. Can I uh, get back going? The yellow caught. Thank you. So leave it to this track to just give us our worst performance of the season. A track that just has caused me pain for whatever reason. And we made contact with that guy because I just, I straight up just cannot avoid that. And I'm going to lose the inside line, so that's even better. That's more contact. That's more pain and grief i got to deal with. Uh, I might be able to get back to fourth. That's a lot of contact. Oh, he used him to turn. Oh, now we're now we're just gonna, we're gonna take a wide angle in this last corner. I'll take fourth. I, fuck this track. Screw it. I despise it. I'm thankful we got out of there in fourth, considering we spun. So I'll I'll take it. Still first in the standings by a good bit over James Walker. So we're good on that front. Merch sold went up again. So that's nice. I don't know if we need to repair the car after this one, but I guess we'll wait and see. Shockingly, that's only moderate driving, so maybe I didn't really get that much damage from that incident. So, I don't know, but um, we got one more race. I think that's a, uh, it's going to be a showcase for being able to get a sponsor. So, it's Kokomo, so, uh, well, I don't know, we'll see what we can do there. I'm kind of curious, <laughs> I can't talk today. I'm kind of curious how we'll do. Through the last corner, we shattered our goal time with no problems, though I'd like to try to see if I can get 11.8. Yeah, that's 11. Huh. <laughs> um, considering this is a showcase with other regional and national people in it, the fact I got pole is uh, kind of scary by a tenth. Damn. Um, alright, easy win incoming, I suppose. Dub. We flag out on the dash, and to be fair, someone behind me is really trying. So, big props to them for making it interesting. We'll go through the last corner. Didn't really hit the corner, like the apex I needed, but. We we'll get the run, and we got the dub, so... Okay. I'd like to think maybe the main will be a little bit tougher, but I, I don't think that bodes well if they're barely competitive enough in the dash. Usually, that's not how it works. In the main, they're going to be really easy then. We're on the pole, though, which is the best thing. We just got to nail this first corner here, really try to make sure we don't get give anyone the bottom lane. That felt like a good corner. We kept the lead there. But we'll try to hit the corner that I usually like to try to do. Almost clipped someone there, but we're okay. So uh, that that was our biggest hurdle, is right off the initial start, and I, I think we'll be good from here on out. Yep, it finally happened. We hit the tires. Is that the thing we got to worry about in this series now? Where we just that's a lot of damage to the front. Okay. Well, luckily, we built up a nice lead beforehand, so. We should be able to limp it home. 
yeah, that was, uh, that was not what we needed. Like, flags out, and second place is slowly kind of closing in on me, but I don't think it's enough time, obviously, because it's white flag, but through the last corner, we'll, we'll limp it home, we'll bring it, <laughs> we got lucky, just how long it took for us to hit that thing, and then the amount of laps we had left, we were able to hang on, so it worked out. Earnings, again, should be pretty good, merch payouts getting steadily higher and we get 9,000 so that's always good but we'll probably have to repair the car after this one I'll be shocked if we don't have to because that was we took a beating there somehow that's modern driving and not damaged enough to where we need to repair anything so uh, interesting I guess my car really can take a beating when it comes to the R&D stuff or durability is just that good I don't know next up's Grant Park so that'll be interesting we do get some sponsors and we're gonna go with Fortress because the payout per race is 2,000 so We'll go with that. I think there's one tier higher than this, but I'm not sure. But either way, getting that's still going to be a good bonus, so I, I appreciate it. So these are our uh, incentive goals. We have to win five in a row. <laughs> there's no way that's going to happen. They're insane. That is such an insane... I've never even had that in any other series in this game, yet they, they expect five. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> They want to give me five in a row. That is, sure, we'll probably not accomplish it, but we will. We will try. So Grant Park's next. Sterling. I don't think we'll win there. So I think. I don't know. I don't think there are odds of that are good, but we'll take the extra two K a race. So either way, well, let's get into the last race of this episode. They want a 14-3 out of me for this. Uh, I mean, we're not going to get pulled, but we're going to be pretty close. And that's going to be a 14. Yep, okay, it's fifth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not bad. It's been pretty decent. So maybe they'll actually give me a really hard challenge in the race for a win. I don't know. It's, we'll see. We finished second in the heat, basically, where we started. So nothing really happened there. The dash, though, is going to be interesting. I'm saying it's going to be interesting because I think the AI are... I think they're just faster than me. And in fact, I couldn't win that. It kind of says a lot about their overall pace, I think. So, I don't know. But we'll see. We're running fifth where we originally qualified. So, that's good. We're not losing any spots. I'm actually going to gain one. We'll leave a slide job there. But there we go. All right, P4. And I got the sense that this is probably all that we're going to be able to get. I don't know what that guy did there. I didn't even really hit him. He just overreacted. But, I mean, I'll take a third. It just... That just felt weird. That was just strange. I mean... I don't, I don't really have an explanation, but... I'll take third. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to win. Third is too fast, so... Oh, well, some guy on my inside tried, but all right. Yeah, we'll start third. That's an improvement from where we started originally. Only problem is we're on the inside, which I don't think is going to be good with this type of track, so I don't know how this is going to go. No one poked my inside, so that's nice. We'll get a decent run off the corner. But yeah, now we get to the migrate to the high side and kind of you know, run our own line and race up here and just kind of see how it unfolds. So far, I mean, we don't got a whole lot of laps either. I mean, the laps are kind of long here, so I don't know. We're hitting Weiser there. That was, that was interesting. We're going to get a good run off the court. Oh, no, no, we still there. Okay, well, <laughs> um, yeah, that was not good. Oh, jeez. All right, well, it, we, we cleared one of them. <laughs> okay, that was that was terrifying. Still don't think we're clear because he's going to try to do something, but he couldn't do it. I have no idea why that person is just running the bottom lane. It's like he just doesn't want to win because every time he does that, I get such a giant run off the corner. And I mean, right there. Because of Lee and his just scrubness, it kind of costed him the win. I think if he just ran the high lane, I don't think I would have been able to get him, but here we are leading it. So, uh, well, and he's trying the inside line, but all right, I, I think we'll be good. Two laps to go, still, uh, we're dealing with lap traffic, and boy, that guy got really freaking close to passing me. Yeah, we don't have the right line. Yeah, if I give up the bottom, he just gains a ton of time on me, so I really just have to stay up here and just kind of. Just hope we get lucky. Oh, God, Brooks is right there. I don't really have a choice but to... Oh, boy, get down low. 
Oh, we're gonna have like the worst angle in this corner. He has like the best preferred line. And he tried. All right. Pr props to him. He, he made me sweat a little bit. So, wasn't as easy as I thought. But Lucas Lee, absolutely. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Uh, he he tried. He really made me uh made me earn that one. So earning should be again pretty good with especially with the merch payout. So, well, and the the sponsor bonus. Have twenty two hundred two hundred sixty seven, and we got the uh, sponsor gold thing there too. So, yeah, we have seven thousand. Nice, we're racking up the cash. That's gonna put us at thirty four thousand. Modern driving, and we do got to repair the tires, so we'll have to do that real quick. But either way, I mean that part went really well. We won four out of the five races, and it was, it was some of it was easy, some of it wasn't. Obviously, we learned that uh. Elm Creek is still a curse track for us. And with that, there's not a whole lot else to look at. And whenever we do another showcase, I guess our top sponsor we can go for is the... Well, we'll be sponsored by Jeff Fabiano. That's... Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, that's neat. So, huh. Well, I'll be looking forward to that whenever we get to the next showcase, which is absolutely going to happen next episode. But for now, I think it's time to wrap things up. Big shout out to your three Patreon supporters of Dale Reynolds, Kamikaze Games, Dave Ryan, Champ 15, NASCAR Merced.org, Bailey Kira, Golf Game 100, Emil Bebster, Mexican League 19, 6, Mark Harmon, Akbar Fan 5556 for support. Again, I really appreciate what you guys do for your channel every single month. It does mean a lot. It always goes a long ways. So thank you, as always, for going that extra mile. It's, uh, it's always really appreciated, and I really can't thank you enough for the continued support. I'll see you on the next episode at Sterling County, where we'll probably get pretty close to the end of this first season because we'll do that three four five and then we'll finish things off at Eldora and then do a couple of the uh, se uh, se <laughs> couple of the races in season two so and yeah so that's really about it so see how much money we rack up before the end of season two I'm assuming it's gonna be under 200,000 if I had to guess unless something radically changes but I don't know. But it'll do it for me. I'll see you all next episode. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.